So I just got home from work. I told my sister I was going to work out after work, but I did not. Just got home because I wanted to dye some fabric. So I'm going to go surprise my sister. Shh, Baxter, we have to be quiet. We have to be very quiet. Fuck. <laughs> Time to die. Time to die. Are you going to put me in a bucket? <laughs> Time to die. We're going to dye some fabric. Oh, I thought you were going to kill me. <laughs> Time. Hey friends, so today I'm going to start working on my Grey Warden cosplay from Dragon Age. Now the typical way that I will do my voiceovers on work logs is that I'll explain what I'm doing. Um, however, as I was working on uh, dyeing my fabric, I actually didn't really know what I was doing. Um, I'm not a prior to this process, I wasn't super familiar with uh, using fabric dye. Uh, it's just, you know, it's not something I, I did really frequently, so that's why I'm, you can see here I'm trying to do, like, different test swatches and stuff. Um, but I, no matter how many of these I did, I still wasn't really getting the color payoff what, that I wanted. And I wasn't really sure why, but I just kind of kept going with it, because I was like, oh, maybe I'm just not putting it in there long enough, or, or something, right? And I think at the end of it all, I was just like, I just need to friggin' dump all this fabric in the vat and let it happen. Put it in there for, you know, however long. I think, I think the time I ended up putting it in there was like 16, 17 minutes on my first go around. And I ended up doing this twice. I ended up doing two dyeing jobs on my main fabric. Um, this is the, the first one. I only recorded the first try. Uh, because by the second try I was getting so tired of of this this process right here of like sitting there and stirring it and ending up with blue hands and all of that and having to like squeeze all of the all of the water and the dye out that's my sister there she's helping me uh, get all of the dye out of there and see there's so much coming off and I probably should have taken that as a sign of like, oh, maybe this fabric didn't quite absorb all the color that I wanted it to absorb. Oops. Um, and in retrospect, there's a lot of things that I probably could have done to have gotten better color payoff with my main fabric, like pre-washing it, um, uh, maybe trying to remove some of the dye that was already on there. See, that was after my first dye, and it had barely changed color. It was maybe a little bit darker, and it just wasn't the color I wanted, and I was so disappointed. Um, and it just, ugh. It was, it was such a letdown, for real. Um, so, the second thing that I worked on was my bias tape. Uh, bias tape is not 100% cotton. Bias tape is, I want to say, 55% polyester. Um, so before working with it, I of course I washed it uh, in just kind of like a warm, a warm water sink. And like I said, it's polyester dye. So instead of using regular Rit dye, I had to use Rit dye more, which is made for synthetic fabrics. Um, it specifically, let me see, yeah, it specifically meant for synthetic fabrics, um, and it was when I was doing this process that instead of using hot tub water, I decided to actually put my kettle on and boil, uh, my water before dumping it in my bucket and using it to dye fabric or dye my, all my bias tape, so, and it was also a much, uh, there was a lot, uh, a lot at the, what's the word I'm looking for, there was a lot less water 
than uh, with my other one because there was less fabric, but like, basically, it was after this that I was like, oh, I probably, I should probably have, uh, like, actually used boiling water to dye the rest of my fabric, and then it may have actually taken the dye better. Um, so, to, yeah. <laughs> And that's how I actually decided to dry all my bias tape, was wrapping it up in a towel. Um, and then when I got impatient, I started using my blow dryer to speed up the process. And then I went through and just uh, folded it and ironed it back all into place. If you have a bias tape maker, this, price, this process might be a little bit easier, um, but this uh, was probably like the more tedious part of like this specific like part of getting my bias tape back together was just having to re-iron it. Um, and as you can see, <laughs> the color came out much darker. Um, I think they go well together, thankfully, but like the, the color is very much much darker than the rest of the fabric. Um, so lesson learned. I. Uh, I'll know better whenever I dye with fabric next time. So, yeah, there, there it is. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you consider subscribing and check out the description for all my social media links and other ways to support the channel. Um, and until next time, I hope you guys have a good one and a bye.